Hello friends, Josh for the MTGNoob.com and running up into this Return to Ravnica 8-4 draft testing out the break strategy that we just discussed. Alright, so in this pack we do have a bomb card which would be the Guild Mage. This card just is nuts in a populate deck and is also very good late game. It's also a nice early drop in Selesnya. And looking in this pack, we do have a couple of green and white cards that we're going to be passing. We're going to be passing a decoy, Gate Creeper Vine. Uh, our other somewhat bomby card, we've actually got two cards that are really good at removal. The second aspect of our break strategy, which is Dreadbore, a nice cheap removal spell, and also Augur Spree. Both of them are in red-black. We're going to put somebody in red-black just by passing these. So I think let's um, let's take our our bomb in the guild mage and pass our rock dose cards. All right, here we actually get past another bomby card, which is Cyclonic Rift. If you can cast it for seven and overload it, uh, your opponent's board disappears, which is pretty good. I hear. Uh, in here, otherwise, we don't really have anything else that goes with our guild mage. We're trying to stay generally open. Selesnya Azorius is a good combination. Uh, we might wheel a patrol. I don't know, let's count these up. We've got, well, actually, probably not. One, two, three cards other people are going to immediately want. There are other playables. Dispel is playable. Um, Sentry is generally playable, but pretty much nothing else. So we'll take this Rift. We're not passing any outstanding blue. All right, here we have a few choices. Uh, the Scorpion is a good card. Guild Mage, also very good. Would allow us to splash our blue. No bombs, no real removal. I guess follow the gavel is removal uh, in a way. We could really take a, an Apparition or a Drudge Beetle just as a bear. They both have abilities or effects. Uh, the Drudge Beetle Scavenge, the Keening Apparition is better. Um, I think white's going to be our primary color. I think the Axbane Guardian is actually the best card in the pack. Maybe it's between the Scorpion and the Guardian. But I think we're going to take the Guardian and see what we can mix up here. Alright, we do get a good Populate card here. It's what we're looking to do with this Guild Mage in the Herald. So this will be an Ability Creature. And it also fits our theme. Basically, you're getting a 3-3 for 4. But the thing is, it can also prevent damage for one turn by blocking, unless the creature has Trample. Uh, this card is important in this type of deck. Tristani Judgment, also very good. Bluster Squall is fine. Some good black in the Reveler and the Golgari to a lesser extent. And then Steeler is definitely playable. Here we'll just take a card with an ability that fits well with our Bomb. Let's go ahead and cost sort this out. All right. Um, some nice ability creatures in here are actually just one in the Frostborn Weird. Syncopate is fine as far as a removal spell. Giant Growth I like quite a bit in the format. I know that people don't. We're not even certain we're really playing blue. And if we do, it's probably a splash at this point. So we'll take the Giant Growth and move on. Okay, here... Well, Jared's Orders is pretty good to search up a bomb. Slitherhead is fine. The Dagger Drum Imp is actually pretty doggone good. Very good in Golgari. Um, I don't know about the Rift. We're definitely green-white, I would say. I think probably the best card in here is the Imp. It looks like Golgari might be open. Uh, I guess we could take a Sky Watch for late game. It is fine, but I think I want to just keep my curve nice and low. I'm going to take... Mm, Cinder and Growth also playable, but I'm going to take an Imp. All right, here we have a Trussell Troll. We have a Keening Apparition, but we've also got another Axeman Guardian, a, a powerful ability level creature. We are running a little low on removal, but we'll just take the Guardian here and be able to ramp up nice and big. All right, here we have three choices. We did pass the Skywatch earlier, and again, I'm not positive we're in blue. We have a Giant Growth. We have a Brush Strider, which is nice, kind of in an aggro-looking build. And we have a Rubbleback Rhino, which is fine, especially in Golgari. It's much better. 
Uh, but here I just think I want to take the brush strider and keep our curve nice and low, maybe even get a little bit aggressive. These cards are pretty bad. I will take the aerial predation for removal, but it will be a sideboard card. Here an ability creature is the sentry, but the ability is so expensive it's really just a 3-2 for 3, which is fine. We'll take that to kind of fill our curve. Here we can't really play anything but Sunder and Growth, and I do like to have a couple of these in the sideboard for pesky enchantments. Pursuit of Flight is a very good card. It shouldn't be going around that late. Kind of shows us red-blue might be open. Is it? We'll take this Courier. And a piece of junk. I've never seen that card played in a draft. I've seen this card played in draft, though. Alex from Seems Good Magic played that actually to quite a decent amount of effectiveness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hide the courier. I don't really want to be doing any kind of mill at this point. So we're looking for populate is the identity of our deck uh, or walls. All right. Okay, we get uh, we open a bomb in the Corpse Jack Menace. It does fit with our theme of black. Uh, other notable cards. We've passed a couple of explosive impacts. They are good. The Crocodile is playable. Treasured Find is fine. Slum Reaper is decent. Um, the Scorpion would be a nice wheel for us, but we're going to take the Menace here. Okay, now we get past an extra, extra special bomb with a lot of playables. Eyes in the Skies is a good pick. Uh, but Collective Blessing is outstanding. Okay, this is a tough choice. Uh, well, just talking about the best cards in the pack, Teleportal is really awesome. It basically says 5 mana if you're anywhere near 15 life and I have a solid number of creatures on the board, uh, then I win. Dramatic Rescue is very good. The Endric is fine. Chromatic Lantern is also decent. Uh, but I think we want to be able to block out fairly well. The Griffin is fine, but uh, as far as evasion goes, um, the Endric is very solid, but since we're definitely playing black here and we need some scavenge, I'm going to take the Scorpion. So Cyclonic Rift, I'm not certain we're playing this card. It is bomby, but our Azorius cards being passed have been fairly limited, so that's where we are currently. Just looking at the deck from a break perspective, We've got some pseudo removal, an ability card, um, a body with a decent ability, and vigilance. The imp lifelink would be the ability here. We have a bomb. We have uh, two other good ability cards, a crap filler, basically, and some other good ability. This is generally a bomb in the format. And then collective blessing is a super bomb. Um, all right, so here it's about do we want to do we want to focus on the guild mage and populate or just solid creatures? We'd have another guardian in the pack. Security blockade would be good for populate purposes, but I think the healer is what we want here. It's got a really good ability, so we'll take that. All right, here we've got some solid aggro-looking creatures in the militant. The beetle is a fine uh, bear with a distant ability. Common bond is very good. We'd have 10 creatures. I do want to keep my curve nice and low. Uh, common Bond is very tempting here. But I think I'd like to get out early with the Militant. So I'm going to take it. Alright, here. Let's see. We've got a wall and the Gate Creeper Vine. We can actually start looking towards later stuff. As we've got two Axbane Guardians in the deck already. Avenging Arrow would be removal, but it's not good removal. Uh, I think we'll just take the Sewer Shambler because it has a relevant effect with the Corpse Jack Menace. So Selesnia Golgari is what we've got going on. And we may put the put the Rift in. Not certain yet. Alright, here Armory Guard is a nice blocker. The ability is Vigilance as long as you have a gate. It's not very relevant, but he's kind of a crappy card. But he does have a big tail end. So we'll take this instead of the Flyer with Evasion. It'll be an easier cast. All right, here we can have a crocodile, or we can have a long legs. Um, 
I think we want the long legs. We need to start filling out the back of our curve just a little bit. Okay, we've got a catacomb slug, which I mentioned in the break. Overview is kind of crappy. Axbane stag is just kind of a, a crappy filler, but he is a big body. Treasured find is good. Hmm, I don't really feel like we need one of these guys. Do I want to treasure find something? I think I'm just going to take the stag. Continue to build my back end. All right, here we have some good choices. Course my is fine, but because we do have this bomb, we're going to take a low creature and try and stick with our curve. I have some removal here, but we've also got an Endric, which is a nice big body. Green is definitely open. And we somehow wheel an Axebane Guardian, which is silly. Uh, we also have a Golgari Guildgate, which I think I'm actually going to take over the Guardian. Am I? Yeah, just to smooth our mana. I don't really know that I want to go three wall. Here, another beetle. I mean, green is so open, it's pitiful at this point. So green is nice and open. Got a bunch of early drops, and all that fits well with our big bomb, the Collective Blessing. Sentry, I'm not sure, is getting played. Could be played, I guess. We do need white, but our base is green here, so. Okay, in pack three, uh, Deathrite Shaman is a little bit bomby, but it's definitely a really good ability creature. Cackler is good, we are playing black. That'd be nice for some early aggro. Um, other playable cards for us would be the Locust, the Rhino, another Shambler, possibly a Gate Creeper Vine, but we'll just take the Shaman. Now right, we get past a Sphinx's Revelation, which is just crazy money. Um, so we'll be taking that. Uh, notable picks for us. We could pick up Sky Knight if we were definitely playing blue. As we've seen, this Drudge Beetle might wheel. Armory Guard also might wheel. We'll be taking these Sphinx's Revelation faux show. Uh, we get past a Pack Rat third pick, which is ridiculous. A huge bomb. So, <laughs> this draft is kind of silly. Um, the Jailbreaker is fine. The Scorpion is also fine. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Rhino is decent. Cellar is fine. We'll definitely take a Pack Rat, which is the biggest bomb in the set. To get past it third is very silly to me. So what are we at? 26 cards. I don't think we'll be playing these Stags. I also don't think we'll be playing Sphinx's Revelation as blue is more of a splash for us if we do splash it. Um, here, having 19 creatures on board, I think we're looking for removal at this point. Another Axebane is, is great. We could have had four. But I'm going to take um, the Common Bond here and have two. All right, let's see. What are we looking at here? We've got an Ethereal Armor, which is fine for us. We have a Jailbreaker, which is okay. Um, we could drop Seller of Songbirds and hope to be populating it. Columbine, I wish there was a decent piece of removal in here, but there really isn't. Um, The pick is, I believe, either a Rhino. It might be Rhino. Jailbreaker's fine. We do only have one gate, though. Uh, Cellar is decent as well. I kind of want something in my late curve a little bit. Mm, I'm going to take the Cellar here. Hoping to get off on Collective Blessing. All right, here we have a Trick, which is decent. Uh, we have a, a Promenade, which would help us to splash the Cyclonic Rift. But I'm going to take the Brush Strider and keep our curve nice and low. Here we get past a bomb like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, so we get past a bomb 7th pick. Uh, we could play Grizzly Salvage. This deck would work with that. We'll just take the Bomby Guild Mage. Here, none of these cards are really great. Um, Terrace Worm would be fine for us in the yard. Am I going to play a course of might? Maybe. 
So we'll take that. Um, another sewer shambler would be good. Aerial predation would give us some removal. And another rubble rack rhino. Um, I think I'm going to take the shambler if we're playing somebody that's playing swamps. Here we'll just take an armory guard. Uh, we get a rhino anyway to build with. And we're heavy, heavy creatures. And low, low removal. So the, the goal of this deck is to get out Collect a Blessing quickly. And we have a lot of choices for our creature base. Alright, um, so we got a Pithing Needle, or a Mind Rot. I think we'll just take a Pithing Needle. Mind Rot doesn't really kill us. Um, we could take a Vermin. We'll take a Familiar instead. Flooding an island. The vermin is playable with pack rat, but um, I think we're comfortable without having to go with that as our main strategy. So pretty pretty good deck we drafted. Okay, let's go ahead and build this up. Uh, first, we'll just put in our bomb cards, of which there are many. Uh, I don't think I need to play Sphinx's Revelation in this deck, as we've got really, really good cards everywhere else. Alright, so we ended up with um, a good solid four to five bombs. Uh, building also, let's look at what we've got. We do want the scorpion, probably want the long legs. Um, not the familiar, the healer, the common bond, the militant all go in. Centaur's Herald, maybe. Uh, giant growth, definitely. Double Drudge Beetle, double Rush Strider, Double Axe Bane Guardian, I'm not certain that I need both. Uh, I'm going to leave them out for the time being. Course of Might is fine. Endric is definitely fine. Uh, Rhino, I'm not certain about. We'll be playing the Imp. We'll definitely be playing the Pack Rat. Actually, that goes with the Bomb section. Uh, double Shambler, maybe. Cellar and Double Armory Guard. Um, so let's go ahead and sort. We have 16 creatures as it is with the Herald. Uh, so we need to look for ways to force through damage or remove creatures. I think Chorus of Might is definitely playable as we've got a lot of early drops. Um, the key force is going to be getting to this Collective Blessing. Uh, what works well here? Cards we might consider. Sentry is not... Cellar is decent, as it gives us two creatures and a flyer. Uh, armory guards are pretty good as far as the bodies go. It's helping us to reach Collective Blessing. Uh, the Double Shambler is good, would be very good against someone playing Swamps. Didn't see a ton of really awesome black cards, but we did get past the Pack Rat late. Um, let's see. Cyclonic Rift is there. If we played both Axbane Guardians, we could possibly splash the Cyclonic Rift. Um, so I guess cards that we're considering are Armory Guards. We're considering Cyclonic Rift, though it would tax our mana into four colors. Uh, we've got two Shamblers. Aerial Predation would be playable for us as we're kind of open to Flyers. Uh, we're looking at these Axbane Guardians. Though they're a lot better when you've got some really humongous drops like the Axbane Stag or Horncaller's Chant, etc. Um, the Rhino, I guess, is worth consideration. So uh, we need to cut five of these cards. If we're not playing the Axbane Guardians, we could, I mean, one way to go would be Double Axbane Guardian, Cyclonic Rift. Uh, I think I'd rather be a little more consistent than that. Hmm, let's see. Now that I look over the deck, I think maybe Centaur's Herald is in this area. Um, as we've got a lot of early drops without it, we want to be spending our mana plopping down dudes. Um, Alright, what works well with our bombs? Basically, with Pack Rat, we have anything Scavenge, so that would be a vote for the Sewer Shamblers. 
Um, with the guild mage, it would be anything with populate. This guild mage works well with anything. Um, with our corpse jack menace, that would be scavenge. With our collective blessing would be early drops. We've got that on lock. Hmm. And the death right shaman just works well with about anything. So as far as our bomby cards go, Collective Blessing is taken care of. The Rhino would be a good card with Collective Blessing. Axeman Guardians, I guess they accelerate the mana. Um, this is kind of a tough choice here. I'm leaning toward not playing Cyclonic Rift. Um, Armory Guards are nice, but they are kind of late drops. Uh, let's see here. I guess it's Axebane, Sewer Shambler, or Armory Guard. That's what we're looking at. I think the Herald is fine for an early drop. So we need to cut three of these. Uh, it's a tough decision. I think with our double guild mage and with pack rat, I think the Axeman Guardians do deserve to come in. And we'll leave the Shamblers out until we see what our opponent is playing. We've got a Cyclonic Rift. Let's see. I guess just a, an Armory Guard is fine. I don't really want to want to depend too much on the Axebanes. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation also would be a, a decent card to have in the deck, but it relies definitely on the Axe Banes. We had a shot at like five of them, but that's to me is just a little bit of overkill um, with the early drop combos we're trying to set off. So this is 23 cards. We'll throw our Guild Gate in, and we'll add some land. 4, 3, 9. Um, it's actually 10. I think having 9 green sources is plenty. Uh, I definitely want to be able to hit our black as well. So that to me looks okay. Collective Blessing only takes 1 white. So I think we're fine with that. Most of our early drops are either green or, or uh, black. Actually, all of them except the Guild Mage are green and black. And we can play this late and still use it. So I think I'm pretty good with this. Yeah, I think I'm good with this. Let's go ahead and submit, and I'll see you in round one. We'll see how our break strategy worked out.